Yo, what is going on Guardians and welcome back to another Destiny 2 gameplay video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys basically just breaking down a match that I had. Our top frag the lobby played really well. I was not using uh, necessarily um, meta things. Aaron Till's, Aaron Till's not anti-meta. It's, it's pretty top tier. But um, my pulse rifle is a shattering bone. I'm going against a lobby that has lots of not there's like three not forgotten's one luna last word and a pulse rifle um uh, so it was pretty it was pretty meta lobby and had a rough start um we started out down i'm solo queue by the way and uh we ended up coming back and having a fantastic match um we closed this gap but you you can just hear the chorus of not forgotten's popping out the pop, 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 pop. yeah there was a lot of them um so anyways, I at, at this juncture, it's 30 to, you know, 13. And uh, I know that this is really honestly just going to come down to zones. I mean, uh, I can slay as much as I want to, but I need to be actively capturing zones and making sure we're rotating uh, if we want to have a shot at winning this match against uh, a lobby full of full of meta. And I, I don't want you guys to hear that as me complaining or I'm mad at these players. I'm, I have no feelings whatsoever towards these players for running the meta. Um, you know, and like I said, Aaron Till is not anti-meta. It's a pretty, it's a pretty top tier weapon. Yeah, I would not put it in the same tier as, uh, Not Forgotten, Chaperone, Dust Rock Blues. Those things are all very, very, very top tier S tier, uh, weapons. And, uh, I would say Aaron Till is an A tier. But anyways, so this match had a, like I said, rough start. But I'm trying to play to the strengths of my loadout here. You know, I've got, um... My Aaron Till, which is really for the close quarters thing. But Aaron Till's hard counter. Aaron Till has a couple of hard counters. One of them is Chaperone. Chaperone is a very hard counter to Aaron Till because it competes mostly at the same range that a Chaperone does. Here I'm like, uh uh, uh this guy drops a tether. I don't want any part of that. So I'm going to back out of it and just try and control the lane. And uh, this was, I think this is one of the crucial moments in the game that kind of gave us a little bit of momentum as well. But we came back, we took the lead because of the zones. I get a voop on this Storm Trance, and I, I decide, okay, since I've got a leg up on him right now in terms of health, I'm going to pop my super and try and shut him shut him down. Um, and it worked out. You know, I got the voop on him, so I took out about a quarter of his health. So he's got about 150 hit points left and i'm at i'm at 200 so i figured i could out uh damage him in supers and help get his super off the, off of the table because i didn't want him pushing into mid where we had a bunch of our uh, our teammates grouped up so anyways like i was saying aaron till's hard counter is chaperone so i was trying to be really cautious about challenging that guy the chaperone guy now the, a couple of these guys did start bagging so you'll see i get i get a couple of cheeky emotes off here that um, that death there, not forgotten. I was uh, on the receiving end of magnificent howl. The guy got a shot off on one of my teammates. Uh, must have been a headshot because he was able to uh, two tap me. And here, I know I'm reading the radar and I see there's a lot of people, so I just throw my my arc um, my arc grenade there and I kind of step back, drop a cheeky emote, and you can just watch all the 36s popping up uh, through the wall there as people are are. Here's the thing, people aren't used to playing against Arc Web yet. And so what you have to do, and I've learned this the hard way, what you have to do when you get tagged by uh, an Arc Webbing Stormcaller grenade. By the way, here, this guy's got a sniper. I know I just gotta keep pre-firing everything, keep getting damage on him to flinch him out of it. Anyways, um, when it comes to Arc Webbing grenades, people have not learned yet that you have to separate. The very first thing you do, because you've got plenty of time, it takes for 30, like 36 damage, but it does, it's not continuous. It's like pulse, pulse, pulse. So you have time to get out of it just like you would a pulse grenade. Um, the first thing you got to do is look around, find your teammates, and run away from them. <laughs> where are my teammates at? Find where they're at and just bail. Quickest way to do that is just to look at the radar. Um, look at your radar and see where the blue dots are, see where the blueberries are, and get distance. Um, you don't have to get super far away from them, you just have to get far away. You know, far enough away from them, the arc web's not going to chain to you. So a few meters out and you'll be fine. Uh, but people haven't learned that yet, they want to hold down their lane, you know. Those guys got punished because they were looking down the lane. This guy, here you go, here you go, dropping those tasty bags with that dust drop. But anyways, people, they want to keep controlling their lane. You know, the guy got a kill that is not forgotten there in that lane. And he didn't want to abandon it. He's probably got Magnificent Howl activated. 
here I'm just backpedaling the shotgunner. And thankfully, my teammates uh, were able to assist. This, I think, is a crucial play. They have a power play here, and they have a lot of supers. They're trying to capitalize on it. So I've got red all around me. Luckily, I got some some distance so that I didn't get killed in my uh, super. Here, I decide to turn around and challenge that um, Arc Strider because the guy that I killed dropped power ammo. And here you can see I pick it up. So I decided I didn't want them to have power ammo because um, five of the people in this lobby were, no, I'm sorry, four of the people in this lobby were using workload coils. I don't want that power ammo sitting there. That's a, that's a big deal. So I decide I pop my super because I'm surrounded with red, but I'm not hurt yet. If I was hurt, I probably would have held my super. But I pop the super, I get a kill. First guy I kill drops the power ammo. And I was gonna bug out, but I see that, that power brick drop and I hear the arc strider pop behind me. And I'm like, I know I need to challenge this. So I decide to challenge it. I just kind of backpedal him, stay out of his swipe range. And, um, you know, I, he could have stopped and done a heavy attack and probably taken out half of my health, but I still would have burned him down. So he tries to chase. I burn him down in his super just by backpedaling and keeping, um, keeping him at that sweet spot, that sweet range where he can't hurt me, but I can hurt him. And then I close the gap. I grab that power ammo, and I'm able to instantly shut down another, uh, another super. And while I did end up dying there, it's I took out two supers and power ammo, which I think that all during their power play. So I think that was honestly, if that had not happened, I think we would have ended up losing this game because that's two supers and workload coil that we would have had to deal with during their power play. So I think that is probably the play that won the game. And then here I hear the... Um, <laughs> I, I hear the, the Void Cutty Man pop his super. So I just backpedal, give myself plenty of space. I, I want to get close enough that he wants to push me, right? Because people feel invincible in that super. And then, uh, you know, I pull out the boot cannon, bait him in. And you have to take the shot early with boot cannon because it does delay damage. It's not instantaneous. Um, so a lot of times if you wait for them to get in too close, you're just going to trade. So I take the shot early. It throws him away, suppresses him, and he instantly dies. Um, so one of my teammates in the lane that I threw him into. So here we've got zone advantage. All we need to do is just basically trade kill for kill and we're going to win. And that's that's about what happens. Victory is all I that sweet, sweet victory. And I feel like that was a really good match. We played really well considering the lobby we were up against. And uh, the loadouts of my Your teammates had some clutch plays in there. Played God. smart, stayed to the right lanes, and uh, ended up with a victory. So hopefully you enjoyed the gameplay and the breakdowns of why I did what I did and why it mattered. And um, I'll be out of town. I'll be in Hollywood. I'll be in Hollywood all week for the Borderlands event. So uh, I'll be back mm, this coming weekend and looking forward to continuing the Destiny content then. Bye-bye.